From our previous lectures, we know that we can use types for function parameters as well as function return type. Now, it is also possible to set the type of a variable as function. Let's understand that practically. Here, I have created a simple function called greet user and this function is basically going to log a greet message. So, to this function, we need to pass a user object and that user object will have a name property. So, we are simply saying hello and the name of the user. So, this function is going to log a greet message to the user. Now, from JavaScript, we already know that in JavaScript, we can assign a function to a variable. For example, I can create a variable. I'll simply call it as greet. And to this greet variable, if I want, I can assign a function. In this case, I want to assign greet user function to this variable. So this is possible in JavaScript. And when we do this, now this greet variable also, it is pointing to this greet user function. So whenever we use a parenthesis on this greet variable, it is going to execute that function. If I save the changes here, and if we compile this app.ts file, you see here we have an error. And the error is because this greet user function, it is expecting a user parameter. So what I will do is I'll create a user. And let's pass this user as an argument. Let's save the changes now. Let's compile this application. And now you see it logs, hello, John. So this is possible in JavaScript. Now the problem here is, if I go ahead and let a, if I assign this greet variable with some other value, let's say 100, if I hover over this greet variable when we have created it, its type is any, as you can see. And when the type of a variable is any, to that variable, we can assign a value of any type. We can assign a string value, we can assign a number value, we can assign an object, array, etc. And that's why here, we are able to assign a function to this greet variable. And after some time, we are able to assign a number value. So since this greet variable is of type any, we can assign any value to it. And here, I'm reassigning this greet variable with this value 100. And now if I go ahead and if I call this greet function, now this greet variable is not pointing to this greet user function. Now it is storing a value 100. So on that, when we try to use a set of parentheses and there if we try to pass a parameter. So basically, if we try to use this value 100 as a function, we will get an error. But if I save the changes, you can see that during compile time, we don't have any error. If I compile this app.ts, we will not get any error. Only when we run it, that time we are seeing this error. And it says greet is not a function. So here at this line, when this greet is assigned with a function, at that time when we are calling it, it is called successfully and it has logged this message, hello, John. But after that, to this greet, we have assigned this value 100. And after that, we are trying to call it. And since this 100 is not a function, we are getting this error. And we are getting a runtime error here. We are not getting compile time error. Only when we run this program, at that time only, we will come to know about this error, this issue. During compile time, TypeScript will not complain about anything. So what we want is, we want to avoid any such kind of issue. And to do that, what we need to do is, we need to make it clear to TypeScript that this greet variable here, it should always point to a function. Okay, so what we can do is, we can set the type of this greet variable as function. So this is also possible. And when we set its type to function, in that case, only a function can be assigned to this greet variable. We cannot assign a number like this. As you can see, we are already getting an error here. That's because since we have set the type of this greet as function, only a function can be assigned to this greet variable. We cannot assign a number or a string or a Boolean value or anything like that. So at this line, we are getting this error. And in this way, it is allowing us to avoid any issue which we can create by assigning any non-functional value to this greet variable. So let me remove it from here. So by setting the type of this greet variable, it has solved our problem. But still, we have another problem. So for example, let's say I have another function called sum. And the sum is taking two parameters, num1 
of type number and num2 of type number and all this function is going to do is this function is going to return the sum of num1 and num2 so since we have set the type of this greet as function we can assign any function to this greet variable if we want we can also assign this greet variable with this sum function okay and now if we try to call this greet and there just like how we are calling this greet function here by passing this user object again if i pass the user object here notice that this greet variable is now pointing to this sum function it is not pointing to greet user function but when we are calling that greet variable as a function there we are passing the user object but this sum function it is expecting two parameters num1 and num2 so here typescript is not giving us any compiler error if i save the changes and if we compile this app.ts we will not see any error here in the terminal you see it is compiled successfully and here when the program runs we are seeing this hello john message we do not see any error that's because here we are in the javascript code and not the typescript code so in javascript when we try to assign this user to this num1 it will assign it and then this num1 will be the user object and num2 will be undefined because we are not passing any value to it so in that case it is going to return us some value either it will be undefined or null or something actually let's see what value it is returning so let's say console.log and let's try to log the value which it will return you see it is logging object because in javascript since we don't have any type assignment this user object will be easily assigned to this num1 variable and since we are not passing any second argument this num2 will be undefined and the sum of that object and that undefined will be this result so i think it is concatenated here okay that's why we don't see any error but as you can see here we have an unexpected result and to avoid this what we want is we want to tell typescript that only a specific type of function can be assigned to this greet variable currently we are saying that any function can be assigned to this greet variable but now what we want is we want to tell typescript that only a specific type of function can be assigned to this greet variable so only those functions which has a given signature can be assigned to this greet variable now how can we specify that we can specify that by instead of using function we can use something like arrow function syntax like this and here instead of using curly braces we can specify what that function should be returning so whichever function we are going to assign to this greet variable it must be returning a void that means it must not return any value and it must take a user parameter so you can name this parameter anything but its type must be user so in this way we are specifying that any function which is taking one parameter that is this user type parameter and which is not going to return any value those functions only can be assigned to this greet variable so here we are specifying this function signature as a type for this greet variable and now you see when we are assigning this greet user to this greet variable we are not getting any error because this greet user it is taking a parameter of type user and it is also not returning any value so its return type is void so we are able to assign this greet user function to this greet variable but when we are trying to assign this sum function to this greet variable there we have an error because this sum function does not match this signature which we are specifying here sum function is not taking any parameter of user type it is taking two parameters num1 and num2 but none of them is of user type so here if we create another function let's say is eligible and this function is also going to take the user object as its parameter okay and it is not going to return any value and here we will simply say console.log and here we will check if user dot age is greater than equal to 18 so again this function is taking one parameter which is of type user and its return type is also void so 
the signature of this function also matches this signature so to this greet variable if we want we can assign this is eligible function but we cannot assign this sum function because the signature of sum function does not match this signature here and in this way we are specifying the type of this greet variable as a function as a function signature so if i scroll down here you will see that we have an error let me go ahead and let me comment this and now what i will do is to this greet i will assign is eligible okay and in the next line i'm going to call this greet function and there i'm going to pass the user object so now we don't have any error because this is eligible function its signature matches this signature and also the signature of this greet user function it also matches this signature so we can assign these two functions to this greet variable but if we try to assign any function with a different signature we will get an error immediately so let's save the changes here let me compile this app.ts file now you see from here when we are calling this greet function and when this greet variable is pointing to greet user we are getting this message hello john and when this greet variable is pointing to this is eligible function in that case we are receiving this value true because from this is eligible function we are returning a boolean value if the age is greater than or equal to 18 in that case we are returning true otherwise we are returning false this is all from this lecture if you have any questions then feel free to ask it thank you for listening and have a great day